Hello, welcome back to our video tutorials. This time we're going to add some color, some textures and some pieces of furniture to our project. First of all, I'd like to concentrate the work on the office and reception here. This is the icon, the toolbox for furniture and object. Here are the objects that I can insert. This list might be longer or shorter in your case. If you want to clean it up, and clear the history from time to time by a click in the gray area with the right mouse button. These are the basic elements that you can use to create almost any shape within Dialogs Evo. Here I want to insert a very simple reception desk created out of a cube. So I can use that cube and modify it, use either the move functionality here on the top rotation, scale, or edit polygon if I want to change the position and make it like a parallel epipede, for example. So this time it's the scale function which I will need. So roughly like this, but I can also insert exact numbers in this place. For example, 2.4 meters and 60 centimeters and 85 centimeters. So that could be the main corpus of the reception desk. Here you have it, including all the different sizes, which are going to be visualized as long as I have activated the scale button. So now let me click on that icon and use the same functions as you probably used to from Microsoft. Control C and Control V. As you can see at the bottom left, an element has been inserted. So we have two identical elements at the same position. And as mentioned in the previous video, I can use the arrows. You see how the blue arrow turns pale to move that element upwards. So one of these cubes is now sitting on the other. Now I can take the chance to stick with the length, reduce the depth and the height. And you see how these two cubes are sitting on each other. And when I look on the floor plan, you can see how easily I can use the blue dots to position an object. With shift, keeping pressed down, I can select two items. I may rotate them together. And as you can see, rotation is always done in 50 degree steps. If I don't want to have any steps, I can keep the shift button pressed down and I can make smooth rotations. So I can place my reception desk now wherever I want to in this office room or in this space. And again, with shift being pressed, it's a smooth movement with no snapping. Now let me add a stool behind that desk. Select. None of these will be very helpful, therefore, we have got a catalog of roughly 500 items. These items are organized using this structure here. I will have to have a look into the office furniture. It's part of the chairs, and I can find this bar stool here. The double click, this becomes visible and available here. Or I can immediately drag and drop it from this screen onto my CAD window. I can rotate that stool and once more with use of the shift button I can make a smooth rotation. Then I'm thinking of adding shelves to the left and to the right. Let me get back to the object catalog and search for this. There is a search function on the top right. I can use the search function starting with S H E L and I can find everything which includes shell. Here, out of this selection, I can pick one with a double click and then insert this one into my room. Some objects have their snapping point, their foot point at the corner, some in the center. But this does not affect anything how they are going to be handled. So I can insert it like this. I've been rotating it. Now I want to make it smaller to fit better into the situation here. And this one. I want to copy now, Control C and Control V. 
a little bit more stretching to be against the wall. I can pick one of those or two and insert it also on the other side of the room. And once more, I have to copy it and to stretch it. This way, I can quickly complete this room. Now let's turn our attention towards colors. As you can see, the furniture that we have been inserting are also visible from the outside. Now currently everything is gray. With a bit of color, it might look a lot nicer. So let's add some color for the walls and for the furniture maybe as well. We've got the colors set up here in this place. Let's choose a bright blue. When I'm inserting the color name before using it, it can be saved with this name. All these colors can be modified by a change of the reflective coating of the reflection factor itself and by three different material types, either metallic or painted or transparent. Now let me put this color onto the walls. As you can see, all walls take the same color. So if I'm just taking one material and drag it onto an object, the entire object uses this color. So let me go one step back. If I have the shift button pressed, I can assign a color or texture to just one surface. Now let's cover the other walls with plaster. Therefore, I click on select. I don't want to choose one of those colors, but I want to use the catalogs. We've got two catalogs available. We've got a color catalog, which uses different RAL codes, R-A-L. You can see here the numbers that go with it. You can even search it. Or you can go for the materials catalog. The material catalog is split into outdoor and indoor, but I can also use the search function here. So I can find plast. I will be finding plastic, rough cast plastering in different colors. So I can pick one of those and drag and drop it onto the walls. And as you might see, all the walls are using that color, except for those to which I have been assigning another color before. So far, we've been using the drag and drop functions for the materials. I can also pick materials using this instrument. For example, picking color from a window. And this color may now be assigned to the door. I have to do that from both sides with the shift button being pressed. And in this way, I can create a transparent glass door. Now let's look at our building from the exterior. You can see still the color of the back wall in the office here. You can see a painted door. Now let us add some texture for the exterior walls and for the roof probably as well. The method is as follows. I can either create a texture material or select one out of our library. There we have the color catalog and here the material catalog. Once clicked, it pops up and I can select, for example, plaster or stone and use one of those to apply it onto the building's walls. Now I have made it to all the walls from interior and exterior. If I want to apply that only to exterior walls, I could, for example, use the apply material function. Therefore, I can select that color once more and apply material by painting on all surfaces that I touch with the mouse button. Apply material. Now I can find this material here in my list of recent materials, which also contains other materials which I've been previously marking as a favorite color. This way, 
you can also insert textures that you have created before for other projects. Now let's have a look at something for the rooftop. Roof coverings. I probably like to use this or that. So with a shift so that I can see it only on the exterior of that roof. Otherwise, I would see it also from the interior side. So that is the way to handle also basic textures. I leave it now to you to play around with furniture, colors and textures to create a nice project. And we'll be seeing each other for the next steps when we're going to start with the lights. Mm -hmm.